Hello, my dear students, and welcome back to my class. Today, we are going to talk about the Bible. We have already learned and talked about the Bible last year. So this time, this year, we are going to continue and enrich our knowledge. So today, our topic is the importance of the Bible and the role of the church. As you may already know, the Bible is an important source of information about the right and wrong. And we as Christians, we believe that the Bible is the most important book ever written and that it comes from God. Alright, so you need to know that the Bible is not just a big, large book. The Bible contains 66 smaller books and it's divided into two main books, the Old Testament and the New Testament. I'm sure you have heard about them earlier. Now I would like you to have an idea what the Old Testament is about. I simply call this book the life before Jesus. It describes the events that happened before Jesus was born. So it means Old Testament tells the stories of God's prophets. As well, it contains the poems, songs, and stories. Uh, there are many laws that were given by God to people through Moses. And these rules deal with all sorts of different subjects for example the correct ways in which to worship how to treat strangers and how to behave fairly when borrowing or lending money but the most important of these rules are usually considered to be the ten commandments so i'm sure you heard about uh, prophet moses and his Ten Commandments, Ten Rules that God sent to people through him. Okay, so I want you to take a moment and go through Ten Commandments or Ten Rules, right? Uh, as you can see, we believe that these are the rules which apply to everyone. The New Testament is a book that describes the events that happened after Jesus was born. So I simply call this part of the Bible the life in Christ. Why? Because this book tells the story of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus and contains many examples of Jesus' moral, moral teachings. And we believe that this book is the most important for us because we believe that Jesus was the Son of God. So these teachings are particularly important because for us they are not just one human being's personal opinions, but show how God wants people to behave towards one another. I know you might ask yourself, why to study Bible? Most Christians believe that the Bible is full of truth and that reading, it is one of the best ways of learning the right answers to moral problems. Alright, so right now I would like you to think and to ask yourself, what can help us as Christians make the right choice or decision? Alright then, why to go to church? Now, my dear students, we need to, to understand that church is a place where we can hear the Word of God, the Bible, interpreted and explained. And the people who preach in church have usually been trained and have learned about the history and the meaning of the Bible. And we go to church to pray and to learn. Let's say uh, people face a difficult problem and they have a difficult time and they don't know what to do. So often there are special times during the week when people can visit the minister or a priest and talk privately about something that is worrying them. Uh, 
and a priest may give a valuable piece of advice and guide people when they face life challenges. For example, when they might have a problem with their marriage and not know how to solve it. Oh, when people um, make wrong choices and they feel guilty. With the help of priests, people confess their sins to God and deal with the moral problems and the feeling of guilt. The sacrament of confession helps them to, to confront their problems and come up with the right resolution. Another reason why to go to a church is definitely making new friends. Many churches have groups that meet during the week. For example, there might be a club for over 60s, mother and toddler group, or a young people's group. So people might use those groups as a chance to share their worries or problems and learn from each other's experiences. There have regular times when people with similar interests can get together and support each other. Sometimes churches make formal statements about moral issues such as suicide, abortion, uh, war and human rights, and members of the church are chosen to meet together, pray and consider the views of the Bible be before coming to the agreement and making a statement. So why do you think uh, we should pray? We have talked about the types of prayer last year. So this year we are going to talk about the importance and the purpose of prayer. So you need to realize that God works in the mysterious way. And when we pray, we get connected to God and the, and the Holy Spirit. So God can answer our prayer through a certain sign or even a spontaneous thought. You know, but sometimes it's okay to feel lost or, or confused, uh, especially when you're about to make a difficult choice. So in that case, we can use teachings in the Bible. Very often we can make moral decisions by asking ourselves what Jesus would have done in a similar situation. And one more way of solving moral issues as a Christian is to apply the principle of agape, the unconditional love that helps us love and accept each other, no matter background or skin color. So it's all for today. Thank you.